today's tiny house adventures where I provide updates on the tiny house that I will be building and the land that I hope to park said tiny house on. Last weekend, I corralled a few friends to help me start clearing out the land where uh, one side of the fence will be. Congratulations, I just learned what my least favorite job in the world is, and that is dragging limbs across my property. <laughs> now, if you'd seen the burn pile video before, um, that was, I don't know, it was hard, but it wasn't this hard. And so what we did was, because my well is still broken from Christmas freeze times, we decided to not do a burn pile yet because I have no water source. And instead, we just wanted to start clearing one side of the fence line um, so that we can eventually install a fence. And it is, it is a jungle out there <laughs> for sure. And it was very difficult. We got Doug kind of leading the trail with a chainsaw and then we followed behind him and dragged the limbs over to the burn pile or where I guess the old burn pile was and where the next burn pile will be. One really cool thing is that because it's been raining and because it's becoming more spring, summertime, it looks gorgeous out there. It's just green and there's wildflowers growing and the trees don't look like a dead forest. It looks like a lush area. So that was really cool to see. Say hi, Phil. Hi. Thanks, John. And we collected so many, we had to make a second pile. First, when we first got to the property, I was actually super overwhelmed because it's been raining a lot here. And so the grass and weeds had grown super tall. It was really hard to walk to the area where we were cutting down. But eventually after a couple hours of dragging tree limbs, we had created a pretty smooth trail from there. It was, oh gosh, it was very taxing. Um, I slept real good that night because again, whole body tired, body, brain, everything tired. The hope was to clear out that whole side. Now half of it's already pretty clear because the neighbor, um, he started building like a privacy fence. There is still some question as to whether he has these posts up where you can see he would like to finish the fence, but I can't tell if that's on my property or his property. So we'll figure that out very soon. And then the goal was to clear out the rest of that side we got maybe halfway done with that and there's only more thick, dense trees in the way. So there's a lot more wood that needs to be cut down. Super hard work. Very thankful for the people who came out and helped. Doug, Debbie, Phil, Sameda, Dawn. Yeah! Am I forgetting anybody? No, I'm not. There is still a ton of poison oak out there and they braved it and we, we got a lot done. Um, I collected two huge piles of trees, so, or limbs rather, so that was uh, rewarding to get all that out and you can actually walk back there and see the vision. Yeah, it felt, I'm not gonna lie, it felt probably the most overwhelming it's felt in this whole time. But again, it's kind of like a inch by inch sort of thing, a little bit of progression, and then just upkeeping that. So the next steps are to fix the well so we can have a burn pile. So I have my shopping list of replacement uh, PVC pipe sorts of things. 
hopefully we'll even get to like permanently wire the well. The last time we ran the well, we kind of did like a temporary wiring thing, but we probably should run conduit underground to the breaker box um, to do that. So I think things are moving forward in a good way. And the next time we clear out land, we'll have a water source. And I think the burn pile will definitely be more rewarding and we can get rid of a lot of the, the stuff we've been cutting down. If you're willing to help, uh, you will definitely feel good afterwards. You'll feel very accomplished, I'm sure of it. that's directly next to me and you've seen his dogs in previous videos there's like a black one and a tan one they're super sweet super skittish and so they'll come on my property but they'll go away the neighbor behind him and who neighbors like the back half of my property is actually the sister of the lady who I purchased my property from and she has like a million dogs and only two of them are stay in a kennel. The others just roam around free. And my guess is because no one's been living at my property, these dogs have extended their uh, perceived territory. And they are small little chihuahuas uh, and a pug. And they're cute, but they are a obnoxious aff. Like it's, oh my god, they're gonna bite you. They will bite you. So uh, that was pretty annoying because we were, I mean, there's it's also why we're clearing out that side first so we can build that fence first because these dogs are nuts. But yeah, there were a few almost incidents, but luckily the homeowner came out and finally like corralled her dogs back to her inside. So that was good. To be fair, they're probably not, just not used to it, right? Um, it used to be her sister who lived there, so I'm sure all of their dogs played around out there together, but still, it was it was hard <laughs> to mess with that. So yeah, it's been a lot of land progress, and I've gotten a good kind of cadence where me and my A-team, so that my A-team is uh, Doug, Phil, and Debbie, and you've seen them in previous videos. You will continue to see them in future videos. Uh, we meet every Thursday over coffee and kind of come up with the next week's plans because there are things that we need to do on my property and for my house, but there's also things that we should help Doug with because he has a vineyard, so we go out and help a lot with his property. And also, right now he has a pile of stone where my tiny house will need to sit while it's being built. So um, we've been coordinating projects and they are a fountain of knowledge and experience. We each have our own superpower, I like to say, but Debbie is probably the best at like keeping us moving forward. She's really good at like the action part. So um, I definitely appreciate her for that. So it's been really great to have what to me feels like a team of people versus just myself. That is where I'm at. It's a very realistic piece of progress. I've got next steps. Hopefully in my next video, you will see a working, running well. I really hope that all works out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time. Yeah.